never switch. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I get the money, but I never switch. They say you switch, you won't do it. You know they came from the bottom, and now we just lit. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. It's a short kick, taken near the 18. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On first down, Mahomes. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Holt. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. We'll be going after this game, bro. I don't so good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Bucks, 49-yard line. 
right away. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Sanders. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Here we go. Here we go. 20. 10, 10, 10. On first down. It's Sanders, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. <laughs> Now on second and 13. Newton is going to fire one. This is caught nice. inside the 15. And touchdown. Herman Moore, 45 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. They'll run. It's Sanders. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he finds his target. It's Sharp. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. First and 10 at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. The linebacker, Ryan Shazier, there to make the tackle. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. From the 44, Mahomes. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Merton Hanks. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. 
Running right. Here's Sanders. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. You call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Third down. Ready? 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 On third down, they'll run with Sanders. And some room to work. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. 24 yards. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. So they went to the ground game on third, hoping to pick up the first. They also picked up a touchdown. Offensive linemen so used in this situation to having to pass block. All right, you're looking at what it is, third down. They don't care that it's third and whatever. They figure they're going to throw the ball. And when you call a running play, I think you I think you energize them. I think you juice them up because I haven't met offensive linemen yet that likes to pass block more than they like to run block. And they opened up some nice holes there for him, and he took it to the house. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. This will be taken short. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Uh, that's the wing. Yeah, that's all right. All right. The Tampa Boy. offense ready to get their drive started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Hey, Ripley, Ripley. SOS. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's complete to show. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. One of the advantages of some defenses I remember it is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. We got four. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. It's caught by Sanders. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. 
ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Okoye. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I get the thought process. Third and short. Give it to the fullback. Let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win the line of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. Mahomes now to throw. First Defenders one. giving oh, chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will score. It's a touchdown. That was the field we had a quarterback. Don't you know what we just saw? Don't That's a great, great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well. Yeah, they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you thought oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Partner, they're up big. They snapped the ball from the 15 for a regular PAT. Yet they fake it and get it. Is the kicker's leg tired? What's going on here? I don't know, but defensively, now with this deficit, now you had two more on that. They fake the PAT. That stings a little. It definitely stings, and I know the guys that I played for, they wouldn't be as mad at the opposition as they would have been at us for allowing that to happen. Under 10, under 10, 10, right now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. A very solid gain of 27. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw, it's Mahomes. Incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. Mahomes will try again on second down. He's got his man sharp, complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Mahomes again here on second and ten. He'll let this go for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. I'm going to run exit. I'm going to run you over. And again, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Looking deep downfield. And 
this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And as a result, possession switches hands. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one. And this is caught. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Out of the gun, Newton. Escaping the pressure right. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Four down, four down. He's crashing. 15, 15. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. This will be caught by Randy Moss. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And as a result, possession switches hands. That's it. Come on, let's go. 20. Check three, check three, check three. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He's got a first down past the 30. Finally taken down at the 32-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Right back to Sanders on first down. A gain of three, second down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Eight, eight. 
I'd rather have four. They'll try the left side. Dickerson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. A question the quarterback. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 15 yards through the air and a first down. On first down, Sanders. <laughs> Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally oh, and open up a crease boy. that they can yeah. run through. Damn. Didn't happen on that play. They'll try the left side. Dickerson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Here we go. Here we go. Eight. 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 A shotgun snap for Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Room here to run. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And he's, and oh, he takes off with it. It's a fake. And the fake attempt here not going to work. Got a little yardage, but not enough to get to the goal line. They've got this big lead. They said, forget one. We want two. Instead, they got zero. Unbelievable that he even attempted from the 15 yard line. What are they thinking? I do know this when you fake one in this situation with that type of a lead, especially from the 15 yard line. Oh boy, I, I tell you what, meeting them again somewhere down the line, they'll remember, they'll remember this. It. Yeah, they'll think that they were trying to clown them a little bit. Let's go. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And they're able to swarm him behind the line. And his rough night continues. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing now is Mahomes. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go deep. Back over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Six-time Pro Bowler Randy Moss, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Yellow. I got one. I got one. Now the homes. Eluding the pressure right. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. D Ford in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. There goes a deep ball in zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Ready? Look at it. Great, great, great. Express. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. Motion. Hey, hey, hey. On first and ten, Newton. And this is caught. Herman Moore. Up, hey, and he up. got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll be a loss of one. And it'll be second and 11. Hey, 
coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now a give, right side. Dickerson. And a loose football, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Pass the 20, and they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's work done. It doesn't just happen. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you going... You're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Mahomes going to throw. Buying time to his left. He'll run it. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, Someone's going to shake free, and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. And some good coverage there by the kick team as they'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. They'll go again with Sanders. He's got a first down and more past the 30. And all the way up to the 33-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now Sanders. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, Newton. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this All one, right. and it led them to victory.